How is it going guys and welcome back to the channel today We're gonna be talking about the end of an era with the second generation of the Audi R8 That is inevitably going to be uh, ending in like the next year or so But before we start talking about this R8 Definitely be sure to leave a like subscribe and comment down below your thoughts and opinions of this R8 V10 leaving us And also if you are subscribed already definitely be sure to click that little bell icon down there I know all this stuff is annoying for you to hear here, you hear it from every single YouTuber, but as a smaller YouTuber myself, it really does help me out a ton, and I truly do appreciate the support. Uh, but looking at this article uh, by HotCars.com, I'll leave it linked down in the description below if you want to check it out yourself. Uh, but it basically goes on and talks about the end of the V10 in the Audi R8. Now, this article was published back in June, and I do know that this has been like news ever since like the beginning of this year so this isn't anything new but I mainly wanted to make this video to kind of draw the question as to whether or not the out in the new third generation of the Audi R8 is truly going to be fully electric or is it going to be like a V8 hybrid system because Audi officially put out like an initial statement about this topic and it stated that they won't be basically producing a third generation of the outer Audi R8 uh, until they can produce it in a fully electric uh, platform because again so many manufacturers are pushing towards that all EV or all hybrid uh, by a certain date. However, a lot of people are kind of speculating now whether or not Audi is going to have the infrastructure to support a fully electric Audi R8 and whether or not the R8 itself is going to drastically increase in price and transform from this kind of starter supercar that was around the price of a Gallardo when we first saw it uh, being made uh, to now something that is more of like a mid-range supercar and it is a little bit less affordable. And I also wanted to raise the question of the possibility of Audi actually di just discontinuing the R8 uh, entirely. I know this would be something that is very unlikely and it's something that I certainly definitely don't want to see, uh, considering that ba this car has only been around for two generations. It has been around since like or the mid 2000s or like late 2000s, uh, but that second generation came out in 2015 and I mean, this may be a bad example because for the Z, like the 370 and 350Zs, the previous generation was around for so long. So I think that Audi could squeeze out a, like at least a couple more years out of this second generation of the Audi R8. And I do, you know, wish that it would stay with the V10. The V10 is so iconic with this Audi R8 platform. Initially, the first generation of the Audi R8 was built essentially on the same exact drivetrain as the Lamborghini Gallardo, whereas the second generation of the Audi R8 is basically the Lamborghini Huracan underneath obviously the different body and a couple of the other different features between the Lambos and the Audis. Now kind of throwing a curveball at you guys and uh, coming from an entirely different perspective, now I'm actually on Lamborghini site as you can see and this is the new Huracan Technica. I actually had the privilege to see this car at the 2022 New York Auto Show back in April of this year. Uh, but I'm bringing this up because this is essentially the new version of the Huracan, which is the current V10 flagship for Lamborghini as a brand. And they're coming out with new Huracans. And I, I say that and a lot of you guys may be like, All right, well, why are you bringing this up? Lamborghini and Audi are both owned by Volkswagen. They're both under the Volkswagen name. So considering that, again, the second gen generation of the Audi R8 uh, shared a drivetrain with the Huracan and the first generation of the R8 shared a drivetrain with that V10 Gallardo, why is Audi so like hell bent on moving away from the V10. Obviously, everyone who is a fan of the R8 would love to see a new V10 and a next generation of the R8, including myself. So, why is it that Lamborghini is continuing to make V10s? And also, now there's rumors out there of Lamborghini making a V12 successor to the Aventador coming in the next couple years or so. I just personally, I don't quite understand it. Now, Lamborghini did go out and say, like, last year and I actually made a video about this too but Lamborghini did initially say that by 2026 they want to move to a fully electric platform with all of their models 
where it was either like fully EV or some EV and some hybrid, but essentially making all of their models running on some form of electrified power. Now, I don't think that Lamborghini is honestly gonna stick to that initial statement because again, they're designing new generations of cars and coming out with new generations of cars with naturally aspirated V10s, naturally aspirated V12s in them, and I just don't quite see them making that drastic of a shift in just you know five years or four years now. And now looking at the 2022 models of the Audi R8, you can see the starting price is around 150, uh, with it going up to even uh, 200,000 US dollars. And looking through some of the pictures here, I, like this second generation is just so beautiful. And considering that price tag, it's honestly a very good option for someone who can afford a entry level new supercar. It, it still is really awesome. Obviously a lot of the used R8s are still a great option for a starter supercar as well. So again, my main concern is that if Audi fulfills their promise of going to a completely EV out R8 for the third generation, like what what is the price going to look like is it going to start at something over 200 like is it just going to continue to climb and climb and climb and kind of shift from a like starter supercar budget to more of like an Acura NSX type budget or are they going to go back on their word and actually produce a new generation of the R8 within the next couple years that has like a V8 hybrid system. I'd be much more happy if they made a V8 hybrid R8 uh, than if they just went fully electric because again, uh, electric cars are all fine and dandy and I, I do honestly like some of them. I'm not just gonna go out and hate on EVs, uh, but that V that R8 without that V10 roar, there's just there's something wrong with that, man. That just also feels like you know not having a V8 in a muscle car. That's again like the video that I made with the electric Charger Daytona that Dodge just revealed. It just it seems a little bit funny, especially when you pump in artificial noise to the car and not just put in a regular engine. But that's just my own opinion. Let me know what you guys think uh, that you would expect from this third generation of the Audi R8 down in the comment below. Also comment when you guys are predicting Audi is going to actually officially release or reveal this next generation of the R8. But anyways, that's pretty much this gonna be it for today's video. Like always, thank you guys so much for the continued support. It really does mean a lot. Definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff I said before down below. But that is pretty much it for today and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, click on either of these links right here to watch a similar video from this channel or click on the little circle link uh, right there to actually subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. I do appreciate all the support, but thank you for sticking to the end of this video and I hope you have a fantastic day.